All right, welcome back. The holidays are here. Can you believe it? That means a lot of us are having holiday parties. Joining us now is Chef Myrna Kalurgis from Silver Whisk Cooking School. She's showing us how to add a new twist to that holiday party staple, the all-important cheese platter. Myrna, thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Along with the holiday festivities, there's a lot of stress. Right. So I want people to de-stress, learn how to make their, you know, cheese plate pretty. Everybody, right. it's a staple. You know, you need something when people come in, they want their wine, of course. Or their champagne, and they want something to munch on right away. So I'm going to jump in and show you three easy ways to update it and make a modern okay. cheese plate. Okay. And you have examples here, and it really looks beautiful. We've already colorful. made some. Oh, yeah. It's colorful. Very So important. let's start with this. These are going to be our little mozzarella bites. So okay. this was some fresh mozzarella that I just went and cubed, okay, okay which is really, really nice and easy. We're going to kind of... Give it a teeny bit of a slice. Okay. These are sun-dried tomatoes. You can oven-dry tomatoes, too, if you want. If you set your oven at a really low setting for, like, three to five hours, okay. you can do it yourself. Add some nice color, too. We have some fresh thyme right here. You could also use some fresh rosemary. These mm -hmm. rosemary Christmas trees are, like, all over the place. Smells delicious, too. Right. So you stick it right through the sun-dried tomato mm -hmm. and through the mozzarella. Look how beautiful that, that is. It's very pretty. And you can drizzle it with some um, olive oil, some balsamic. Okay. So that's our first one. Now we're going to do our little spin on the truffle. Okay. okay? So You were showing me this earlier, so we cheated. So good. <laughs> I know, because it's so good. So you can use goat cheese or you can use blue cheese. And the reason being is they crumble so nicely mm -hmm. into little mock truffles. Okay. So I've already cut some cranberries here, some dried cranberries. You can use raisins. You can use apricots. The idea is to use something, you know, in season that reminds you of the holidays and something with lots of color. Right. And as you can see, look how simple this is. Look at that. Very easy. It's the, it's like little jewels of cheese. And who doesn't like that? <laughs> jewels of cheese. That's Yum. good. <laughs> and so, and if you really want to elevate it, if you have that like bougie upscale person, we all have those friends <laughs> who are like, oh, just that. You can really take it to another level and add some beautiful saffron, wow. okay? That's an expensive uh, little bite of heaven, right. but you know, it's impressive. Put that right on there. And then of course, you always wanna have apples and pears. If you do use grapes, we were talking about this before, right. use frozen grapes. Right. Because you know, if we're sitting here drinking our champagne, eating our little cheese ball, and I'm like, oh, here's a grape, pop, squirt. <laughs> it kind of kills the mood. Right. A little bit. Frozen so, is good. Here's, now when does bacon not go with anything? Never. Okay. So, <laughs> not in Texas. So, watch. This is a really cool idea to add to your cheese plate. Here we have some cured Chinese, Chinese sausage. Okay. This is a mini ciabatta. And for those who are interested, we used an English Stilton blue cheese. Okay. okay. For those who are interested. All right. So, when you take these pieces of bacon out right away, what happens is, if you put cheese on them, the heat, the cheese will melt right into the bacon. Mm. I know, like you need to do anything more to bacon. But, and That's then you it. can add. You put it on the plate now. Right, you can. <laughs> We're gonna add some fresh ground black pepper to that cheesy melted bacon. Okay. Okay. Then, watch this. Add some height, add some dimension to oh, your cheese plate. Pretty. Look at that, that is gorgeous. And the last thing wow. I'm gonna do, okay, is get a plain goat cheese cheese log, okay? okay? Really, really nice. Get some nuts. Look at this. Roll and just on. roll it. Just roll it. Okay? Looks very fancy. We're talking about cheese, okay? So <laughs> roll <laughs> the cheese, okay? Not that kind of party. All right. So, and you see, look, some cranberries stuck on there. If you want to do nuts and cranberries, too, wow. on your cheese log, Looks delicious. gorgeous. No one will get mad at you for that. And we have some dried basil. Put some nice dried herb on there. I mean, gorgeous. Just just keep that That's cheese plate growing. Beautiful cheese plate I have ever seen. Thank you. Get Marna, the champagne. Thank you. Let's do it. We're ready to go. All right. We want to tell you Silver Whisk is holding a kid's holiday camp where your little ones can pick up a few cooking tips as well. The information there on your screen, it runs from December 19th through the 21st. That's next Monday through Wednesday. Cost is 125 bucks. Chef Werner Kalurgis, thank you so much for being here. Thank we you. Appreciate I shake your hands, but I'm cheesy. That's all right. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Happy You're holidays, welcome. too. Happy we holidays. appreciate it.